We're here in the French Alps today, up at La Grande Monte, up above the town of Argentier, and we're about to do a descent down Monte. It has some of the tightest switchbacks I've ever ridden. And we're gonna learn a little bit about making pre-turns and how we actually create a proper pre-turn to make really tight switchback turns. But before we get into that, we're gonna talk about the basics of a pre-turn. And pre-turns can be used in all kinds of situations in order to set up for a turn. They essentially allow us to start turning earlier. And in the situation of a switchback turn, they're gonna allow us to actually make the turn. So this involves double footwork. We wanna make sure that we're turning properly with the body when we're creating a, a, a pre-turn. So if I'm coming down the trail and I have a, a left-hand turn and I'm coming into it and I'm a left foot forward rider like I am, I'm gonna make a front foot pre-turn and a back foot turn. If I'm a right foot forward rider like Timmy, who I'm riding with today, I'm gonna to make a back foot pre-turn and a front foot turn for a left-hand turn. In a right-hand turn, being a left foot forward rider, I'm gonna make a back foot pre-turn and a front foot turn. And we're gonna see Timmy making a front foot pre-turn and a back foot turn, being a right foot forward rider. So this is something we, we practice out in the open. We practice this in places where we don't really have a super tight switchback. For me, the definition of a switchback turn is a turn that's too tight for the rear wheel to follow the path of the front. So as you can see here out in the open, when we're working on our double footwork, we're not really creating much of an offset wheel path. But when we get into the really tight woods where these switchbacks are super, super tight, we're gonna have to really get that front wheel to take its own path with the back wheel taking a very tight path on the inside of the trail. This is gonna be done by making our pre-turn much closer to the turn and making a much more aggressive pre-turn. So we're really gonna be approaching on the inside, which is what surprises a lot of riders. We're not setting up on the outside, we're coming down the trail to the inside of the switchback. We're making our pre-turn and we're using that pre-turn to powerfully pull the front wheel up the hill. We might even try to get it up into the weeds, up into the bushes on the bank in order to make some of these turns today. And that's gonna allow that front wheel to be on its own path. It's also gonna be supported because the, the switchbacks are always built into steep hills. So we're gonna have some support there for the, for the front wheel. From there, we're gonna move into our actual turn, so our footwork for our actual turn. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a situation where the back wheel takes a very inside line through the turn and the front wheel takes its own line on the outside. One of the reasons we're trying to get this pre-turn to bring us up as high as we can is because these turns are very tight and if we don't buy a lot of real estate up the hill, we're gonna end up off the edge of the trail, which we don't wanna do here. There's quite a bit of exposure in spots. So we're really gonna be working here to, to create a good pre-turn. And one of the things that's really important that riders often miss with this is we're not just steering with our hands, we're using footwork. And we're not just using footwork, we're actually moving the hips up the hill and then the hips down around through the hill. So this is an actual two turn combination done in very close succession. Again, the tighter the switchback turn is, the closer to the turn I need to make my pre-turn because that's gonna create a greater offset wheel path. So go ahead, give us a try, it takes some work. Uh, just start practicing this in an open area, working on your double footwork, getting the hips to turn in both directions, using your footwork, and then you can start taking this into increasingly tighter and tighter trails. And then if you get really good at this, like the locals are here, like, like Toma is, He's gonna be maybe showing us a, a couple of other things that he does through some of these turns, a little bit of a French flick, a little bit of a slide coming through, maybe even a little nose manual here and there, a couple of things that are a little bit out of my own personal quiver. So it's always fun to, to follow Tomo down the trail and check out what he's up to. So we'll have a good time today.